don't leave. <laughs> Please don't leave. Um, Emily. Okay. I, I remembered this time. I hate <laughs> Oh, if that uh, completes your turn, grown out John, Jolly John. Yeah. Jolly, Jing John, Jolly Jingle John. <laughs> well, uh, some folks call me JJ, and some folks call me Jolly Joe, and well, some folks call me River Man, and some folks call me Mo. Hello, it, it, uh, that's, that's it. <laughs> Who am I baning, Matt? I'm just uh, baning all of them. So oh. well, here, let me let me let me fill you in on what's on what's happened so far, just to just to bring you up to speed. Okay. Um, these guys said uh, th there was this guy, there was this uh, strange agender non-binary looking they them on the rock uh and they uh said hey uh welcome i'm a ferryman you have to pass you have right. to pay to pass i'm gonna take what i want we and said no they attacked us with goats yeah <laughs> <laughs> with uh cross with uh bolts but yes oh okay so yeah we all just been fucking them up uh the red dots are in trees um yams is 50 feet up in the air flying and of has course killed, he is and has one shotted two of them <laughs> eric okra <laughs> some bitch yeah i right. don't know what i was doing i really don't <laughs> letting that happen but yeah uh, I'm so a, go ahead i'm a banum so you guys oh. hear a really disconcerting uh sound coming out of my hurdy gurdy um, it's a like a low rumble with like weird kind of oscillating overtones over it. Um, and um, I, I start singing a song of uh, of uh, like skin crawling and like haunting and like <laughs> creepiness. And uh, I direct it at. Um, well, probably main boy. Uh, main boy, uh, uh, main boy who is not bad. a boy. Okay. Main boy who is not a boy is back here. Main, 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 main them. Yeah. Uh, and then the one fighting our good friend, Jimmy Freeman, um, as named in uh, Zoom. <laughs> and then I will take the, this one as well. Is it three or four? Three. Three. So uh, the, the one the goat's about to attack here, I guess. So uh, yeah, basically the the three in the clearing here, like in in uh, this general area. This one, this one, and this one. Yeah, cool. That's what I figured. Okay. So uh, is there no is there and there's no saving throw or anything. Charisma like save of fifteen, my man. Oh, a charisma save. Okay. Um. All right. Captain Jackie is going to make their charisma save. And that's a nope. Heck yeah. Um, I'm talking and, about like maggots coming out of eyes now. Uh, bain, uh, bain and the bandits enough. are going to make their charisma saves and they're both going to fail. Yeah. So they are all baned. I start singing about like cobwebs getting in your hair, but you can't see them, but you know they're there. <laughs> I fucking hate that. Yeah. Never again. I will give you disadvantage, I swear. <laughs> um, okay. And there's no damage associated, yeah? Nope. They're just uh, any um, D4 yeah, any on save. any attack roll or saving throw from now on. Shakaroo. Heard. All right. Is that your turn? Or you That's me, you? baby. You don't want to move or anything? No, nah, dog. I'm a bard. No bonus action inspiration. <laughs> oh no, I'm too low level for that. All righty. Um, and with that, Jolly John, uh, we come to the top of the order. Nish, it is your turn. The man next to me, I ignore him. I <laughs> continue. Uh, I, as long as long as it doesn't not make sense for me to to sort of climb up these rocks and fucking get them. No, I mean, like you can you can run and jump them, but you will take an attack of opportunity as yeah. he leaves. I'm gonna stop That's rolling right. online because I'm sick of uh, I I don't trust roll twenty. I just hate it. <laughs> I'm done. Uh, the bandit is gonna take a scimitar swipe at you with a plus three to his attack. That's gonna Classic. be a 14. Op 14 hit. No, 
Oh yeah, you're a 19, huh? Yeah. Okay. So he's so, Bane, Bane. Bane is minus. Oh yeah, and he's Bane. Minus a D4 and he's Bane, anyway. So yeah, yeah minus yeah. a D4. Thank you for that. Okay. Uh, yes, please continue. Yeah, and then we're just fucking going to town, baby. I'm. I'm. I'm my great hit sword them. has been out. Hit them. I'm gonna try. Twenty hits. Kaboomers. Thirteen slashing damage. Mamma mia. Is he alive? <laughs> Are they yes. alive? Yes. They are alive. 19 on the second attack. Hits. Oh, I'm another 12, their... baby. I'm upping their AC mid fight. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a 12. God damn. Level five. Level five. <laughs> Level five. I definitely five. balanced this fight 100%. I'm just adding more bandits. Uh... <laughs> and more pop out of the shadows. Yeah. Go on. Uh, is that it? Uh, I think so. I don't think I can do stuff with bonus actions unless I don't think I, I th all the things I've done are just like that dope shit. Uh, um, right. Yeah. Yeah. That's your turn. Yeah. All right. Prudence. It is your turn. I forgot that I can do two hits because I'm technically fighters. My bad. I should have reminded y'all. No, I didn't. It's fine. Yeah, I believe most of you can do two attacks now. Uh, I'm going to hit him with my sword twice. That's cool. Nice. Take two swings. Classic. 17 hits. 17 hits. Two big hits on him. He is out. He does like a little spin and like takes off his head. Slug, slug. It just the the head kind of topples, and then the body kind of stands there, and then just <sighs> falls. It didn't, like prude dance. <laughs> ah, ah, good pun. Take it, <laughs> take it, but you can't use it till next turn. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Get that inspiration. Take your inspiration, but you can't use it till next turn. Nice job. That the turn? You never get inspiration. Uh, is that your turn? Like, is that your turn? Do you want to move? Do you have a bonus action? Oh, yeah. I, I should move, huh? Um, move? Because, yeah, because both the people around you are dead now. Yeah, man. How do I do that thing where I do the thing? Okay, there we go. Yeah. 30 feet, right? Uh, yes, that is your say movement. What does that mean? Yes, we can. Cool. It's like a collective thing. We as a group. Love it. Like, yes, it can be. <laughs> oh, see. Si. Por supuesto. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Yams? What's up? Que pasa, Mufasa? It hurts every time you do this bit. <laughs> Por que? <coughs> All right. Uh, is that it? Is that your turn? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Trixie McRocka Whiskers. That is what you what it says. That that's what it says on roll on roll twenty is Trixie Rock Whiskers. Me out the but if you want, I, if I, I will let you make this choice, but we are choosing it now. No, my canon is that I go by many different names ah! depending on my whim. All right, I'm gonna need your I'm gonna need your parents' real names though. <gasps> Thumbs up. Oh, never have them. Oh. I like that though. I like That'd that. It'd be though. funny if it wasn't Rockefeller and it was just like. I, I much prefer the bit. I much prefer the bit that like she has a string of ex husbands that she. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's so she good. She's from. Oh, you know what? No, it's your character. You tell it. Yeah. No, I'm adding that in that I've been married a couple times. Whoopsie. Some were an old, some were not. <laughs> All Which Mick was it again? Good to, I don't know. Good to know you have some husbands out there in the world somewhere. Yeah. Thank you for those NPCs. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. You may do with them what you will. Right. Going to. Um, That'd be so turn, juicy. Darling. Can one of them be Cary Grant? <laughs> one of them is Cary Grant. Yeah. Good. Wait yeah. until Orlando Bloom shows Grant. up. At, shows up at your at your uh, uh, at your party house, just saying, please. You <laughs> take me back, <laughs> and then he's killed. Murder. 
Yeah, he still he steals John's hurdy gurdy and starts oh. playing it outside your window. You watch. Why out. won't you take me back? <laughs> That's my Cary Grant. That's right. Trick <laughs> After Trixie, all that I've done for you. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. What you doing? Um, it's your turn. Um, well, I'm hiding behind these rocks, mm -hmm. but I'm going to pop out for a little shooty shoot of the short bow. I oh, love it. Uh, and I'm going to shoot this uh, bandit person in the tree due south. Hit him. That was a vantage on that one, right? Yeah, yes. I do have advantage because I was hiding from this person, right? So sneak attack. If you hit. You have advantage and you get sneak attack if you hit. Why do I have advantage to start? Because you were hiding. And they oh. can't see you. Yes. Hiding. Can't of see course. me. They're currently focused on Jolly John. Yeah, they don't know where I am. I'm in the wind, baby. <laughs> and the blood curdles in a bucket. Uh, you want to know something? Vomit. You want to know something? Yeah. It hit. <laughs> oh, so cool. Yeah! So cool. I will say it now. They have an AC of 12. The regular bandits, 12 is that AC. I did not. Rego follow. bandos. That's so, an advantage, uh, baby. So, yeah, that's 10 points of piercing damage plus. Uh, what what is your sneak attack right now? Uh, good. What? <laughs> so it should be um, on your attacks and spell casting. You can click sneak attack. Oh, I see it. I see it. Whoop! Oh, that just does the that thing. No, there's a the, the attacks. There's a way to engage it. Mm -hmm. Maybe if you do the damage one. Part. I don't know. At level five. It's uh, three d six. Three d six. Roll three d six. Three d six. Yeah, roll three d six extra damage. Whoa! It's in three d. Oh. Eleven. So uh, yeah, tell me how you kill him. <laughs> tell me how you one shot this guy out of a tree. <laughs> <laughs> um. So I shoot the arrow and it actually just kind of just gets like his hair. It doesn't even hit him. Oh. And he goes, whoo, but then he whips around and is so surprised that he falls out of the tree and breaks his neck. <laughs> it's very <laughs> vaudevillian. He's like a whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> cha 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 cha. I'm dead. I'm there's so a, sneaked. Like, there's, a Wilhelm, there's a Wilhelm scream. So yeah, uh, you can use your bonus action for an extra attack. You can use it to hide or dash or disengage. You don't have to disengage. Um, bonus action for an extra attack? She will click last? No. I thought you got an extra attack. Probably no. not as a rogue. No, I don't. Oh, my bad. I don't think so. There's disengage. There's um... cunning. I thought cunning action gave an extra attack. My bad. Oh. Um, but I will you sneaky let her sneak. I, I will dash with my bonus action uh, to get closer to some of these other bad guys. Okay. Uh, how far? Can oh, move? and you also have uh, you also have feline agility. Don't forget again. <laughs> and the, here's the I thing. didn't forget. I purposefully chose to not utilize it for strategy yeah <laughs> yeah because right. now because if you you because if you do use it it doubles your movement so if you use a dash action you get the doubled movement twice oh my god exactly sure <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah um so that so would mean i could move feet. like what 120 feet yeah 120 oh hell yeah the broken fucking feet <laughs> i'm gonna move so fucking far that's Just, why timber is a goddamn flash all the time. You could literally move half across the map. I, I'm just <laughs> and to the zoom. other rocks now. I'm just gonna zoom. Um, You're and, like and, down on all fours, like sprinting. And the remaining bandits are here, here, and this yep. is one too, right? Uh, yes, there are and currently here. one, two, three, four, five left plus the leader. Okay. Um, I'm going to zoom to a tree. Yeah, you can literally go anywhere. Cover. It's fine. You can literally go anywhere on like that. You can literally get up to any of them. Yeah. 
No, I'm going to stay. I'm going to keep my distance. Yeah, all right. Because I'm a rogue. I'm sneaky. <laughs> but I'm going to hide behind this tree over here. Okay. So I'm better in range of the other dudes. All right. So you're currently not hidden, but you do have uh, half cover. Yes. Okay. So you have, I believe, a plus three to your AC now? Sure. Um, so just remember that if you're if I'm attacking you. And Got you it. are also no longer hidden. All right. Is that your turn? Yes. Excellent turn, Trixie. Great All try. right. It is now the bandits turn. B -b -b bandits. So uh, let me see. These guys are very unhappy with hmm. you uh, trying to kill their boss. Murdering um, everyone. <laughs> and um, they are just going to go at you, Nish. Uh, this guy runs up to you, and uh, yes, he is at uh, a minus D4 to this attack, which is a which is going to be at a plus three. And slime comes down the walls. Okay, so it it I rolled a four on the d4, but I rolled a natural twenty. Okay, so. I don't know how to rule this. Other DMs? I think it's a crit. It yeah, is a crit. It's 20 a crit. Okay. Well, hold on. Hold on. Plus three minus four is a 19 still hits. Okay. So uh, I was wondering if it would hit. If it hit, if it hit, it would be a critical, but it did. Um, so, okay. So that is uh, a D8 plus one. And I'm going to double the D8. Okay. Okay. So that's eight plus one. Nine. Wow, that took way too long. <laughs> uh, nine points of damage uh, from the scimitar hit. Then you're gonna take uh, two. Um, you're gonna take uh, two. Uh, da, 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 uh, crossbow bolts or short bolt bolts. I'm not sure which. Um, the first one is a. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna miss even with that with or without the bane. That is a natural nineteen minus one plus two, so that hits. Um, and that is gonna be a another D eight plus one. All right, so that's another five damage to you, Nish. Okay. Um, and uh, uh, this guy is right here. <laughs> oh fuck um he's going to disengage from uh oh oh there's one more there's one more um uh this guy right here he is going to take an another shot at you actually because you you are the one trying to kill their boss and they're like hey stop that another archer huh uh yeah this one right here but uh he rolled a two so he didn't hit and he wasn't baned either so um <laughs> Oh, these guys weren't even baned. I don't know why I made them attack with uh, this advantage. Uh, this one who is baned. Um, You're a wise and benevolent DM. <laughs> I am I'm nice. I'm nice. Um, this guy is going to disengage and run. Just he's booking it. He's off the map. He's gone. <laughs> he's just like, fuck this. He throws down his weapons and says, fuck this shit. I'm out. <laughs> Not getting paid yeah. enough. Um, yeah, I'm not, like, yeah, I'm not getting paid enough for this shit. Uh, and he's gone. Um, and that completes their turns, which brings it to the bandit captain, Jackie Caruso. Uh, Jackie Caruso is going to take that long scimitar out again and take, uh, two big old swings at you, Nish, because again, you're right up in their face. Okay, so that is an 11 to hit. Does not hit, you're a 19. Does not hit, I'm gonna repost on this first attack. Oh, you're gonna repost? Okay. Yeah. Um, which is what exactly? So I counter attack. I use one of my fighter dice to counter attack. Go ahead. <clears throat> um, 14? Uh, <laughs> you know what they're you know what they're gonna do? They're going to repose. They're going to uh, parry. 
which uh, adds two to their AC. Interesting. So, uh, oh. and, and uh, which uh, brings them to a 15. And uh, so that just, so that, so basically you try to, they try to hit you, you block, you try to repost and they parry it. So it's basically I'm, just. I, I'm, I'm frowning. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, okay. So uh, that's one attack. Oh, no. Uh, that's um, then my other one. Ah, shit. Okay. That is a, a dirty 20. Sure. Um, and that is going to be. Boo, boo, boo. Oh, wait, hang on. I rolled the wrong die. That was a D8, not D6. Oh, shit. Uh, nine damage. Max damage. Okay. Nine damage to you on the on the second scimitar hit. Just, just, uh, yeah, she's pretty they, fucked up. They, yeah, they're, but she's still through. like <laughs> gritted through gritted teeth. Yeah, they're cutting through you. So that was their action. Um, they are going to. Uh, use their bonus action to uh, disengage <laughs> and uh, move back about uh, this far to their to their buddies, and um, I think that is their turn. God damn it! <laughs> Just constantly, like, how far am I from? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, and that is going to end the bandit captain, Jackie Caruso's turn. Yams! What you doing, buddy? Uh, Yams yeah, just going to go ahead and uh, keep flying over here towards the uh, oh, bandit leader. Me. <laughs> <laughs> the angel of death, this dark crow just <laughs> flying over with a bow. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and use a, a spell called called Zephyr Strike as a bonus action. Can you? Um, what, so it's get some, what? It's uh. Please put that in the chat. I will yeah. read that. <laughs> Basically, uh, right now, all I'm really using it for is uh, I get advantage on one attack. So I'm gonna gonna go ahead and use that. Um. And not take uh, my minus five, so it'll be just. Uh, so you're taking a sharpshooter again? No, no, nor no sharpshooter this time. Okay. So you get an extra D eight. Yeah, so that's going to be uh, twenty plus two, twenty two hits. Does it hit? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. For seven. Hey Matt, nice tree. Oh, thanks. That's pretty. Nine damage. And had he had he taken damage before? Yes, they, they had taken damage, absolutely. Okay, sorry, friend. Yeah. Uh that'll be another G eight from my Colossus Slayer. Wait, Colossus Slayer? Yeah. I think they have to be big. I thought they have to be big for that. Uh no. If it's below its minimum HP. Bingo, bango, baby. Jeez. So, what's the total damage? Uh, so that would be seventeen for my first attack. <laughs> Seven <laughs> first damage for the first attack. Yeah. <laughs> Level five. Okay. Level five. Yeah. Uh, this this hits them in like the it, it hits them in the stomach, and like it it hits something vital. You think like they're. <coughs> They coughing up blood, and they, as they look up at you, just blood kind of streaming down their lips, gritted teeth. This is not how this was supposed to go. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, this is going out great, baby. Uh, and then he does it again. <laughs> <laughs> you get advantage on it again? Uh, no, no, no. And do you, all right. Attack. 14. 14 misses. Yeah, okay. That's all then. All right. Um, Okay, so that's your turn? Yep. Fucker. Okay. All right, Grono, hit him up. All right. Go. Warhorse charges. This will be 
I say D plus six. Yes, plus six. Uh, okay. I cannot misses. roll well with these guys. This <laughs> ends up two spaces behind him. All right. And then this one's going to try the same thing. <laughs> Jeez. I'm going to say roll 2d6. They both take that much damage from running into each other. Because mm. you're just like sending them back to back. I'll take eight. All right. Uh, as this one kind of goes that way, um, uh, this goat is going to come after this guy. They are they are just staggering back and forth like they were trying to get up the tree to their friend, but they're just like. Uh, uh. <laughs> I should just start not rolling roll twenty. Apparently, hey. <laughs> That's what I'm wow. saying, dude, I hate it. it the Maddie gold. method. All right, and then this one's going to do the same thing because I'm a glutton for punishment. <laughs> All right, that one's going to hit. Hey. Uh, hit this one? This guy? This guy, yeah. All right, yeah. Um, so, so this that, is yeah. going to be a t uh, 4d4 plus 3 again. Uh, it's 11. Okay. He is uh, gored pretty good, just like the last guy was. Gored! All right, and then Grono is going to step forward here and try out his fancy new circlet on his head. Mm. Uh, and with a cast of Scorching Ray, which is there, um, I'm going to target uh, this guy. The... Has anyone uh, even just attacked hit. this guy? <laughs> nope. And the guy in the tree above him. Sure. Uh, so, who, sorry, who, which which three? The the captain? The, two, the, the captain, the one in the tree here, and then the one that I just hit with those two oh, guys. Oh, that one? Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. um, these are... These all in range? Yeah, it's 120 feet. Okay. Uh, better hope you don't hit proof. Better hope you don't roll in that one. Oh, no! Uh -oh. Okay. Um, wait, Prue's in the way of the bandit captain currently. Oh, I see what you're saying. In your direct okay. line of fire. That's fine. I Prue, will can, Prue. Prue can take it. She's the, she's a tough tavern. She has not been damaged yet. So yeah, I honestly have it coming with all the shit to me. <laughs> Actually, it's not a roll to hit. This, so these are no make a range spell. Make, spell. make a range spell attack for each ray on a hit. The target takes two d six fire damage. All right. Oh, Wait, where's roll. the captain? What? Where's the captain currently? Uh, right here. Gotcha, gotcha. All right. So the captain. Holy shit! <laughs> Woo! The captain. Okay. There it is. Captain Jackie Caruso ends their fine young life oh. of <laughs> of, uh, of good natured banditing on the road uh, in a blaze of fire as their corpse is burned to ashes Jesus by Grono's blast of fire. murder. Mm -hmm. Yes, I collect that later. <laughs> this is a grittier game. I guess we're not them wow, wow, wow. You told them to run away. <laughs> <laughs> this one, oh man, you are so lucky you didn't roll that nat one. Okay, wait, no, this one was for the guy in the, in the tree. Ah, I guess you can't really almost hit Prue on that one. All right. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> If he rolled a natural one trying to hit Jackie, he would have hit you. <laughs> Jesus! Wow. All right. So still, but thank God for like less damage. Okay. So six damage. Uh, I'm going to hang on. What was that about not rolling on roll 20, Matthew? <laughs> I, I don't know. The, the damage was two, still two ones and then two twos. Okay. So, you know. And it also went like, Nat one twenty, like twenty. Nat one twenty. Yeah. Big no, swings. Yeah. Like it's, all right. So um, let me see. Evens. Okay. Yep. Uh, the tree catches fire, and that does another four damage. Um. And uh. Yeah. So cool. This tree's on fire now. Okay. Does this Whoa. affect the goats? Or are they fine? Uh. Mm, wait. No, this was oh oh whoops! I hit the wrong guy. My bad. My bad. My tree my is on fire. Uh, that guy's unhit. This guy he okay. took yeah. six damage. Yes. Okay. He is 
screaming, trying to beat the fire off of him. Like he's still he's still alive, but barely. Like it didn't really like. Is that with the four fire damage from tree catching fire? Oh wait, uh, I rolled for the. I should have rolled for the bushes. I thought you were going for the. I thought you hit uh, this guy. My bad. Oh okay. No, you're good. So um, I'm gonna. But yeah, you know what? No, I rolled a percentile. He's actually dead because the bushes caught on fire. Okay. And then but, again, do the goats take damage? Um, yes. Un uh, these two goats take uh, four damage each. Okay. Um, My turn. And I am going to um, just freehand some real quick. Just uh, some food. This is all on fire now. <laughs> All right, uh, Grono, is that your turn? Yes, this turn. Okay, thank you very much. Jolly John <laughs> Barleywine, your that's second a, turn, sir. Well, that's me. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep going with my, with my business of, uh, of uh, baning. There and I'm then I'm also going to, oh, I only got a, a great. Currently, yeah, there's dagger. only one left who's been baned. Uh, does anything happen when they die? Uh, die while, of bane? While being baned? Die whilst baning? Uh, I don't nope. think so. Nothing happens. Cool. Just they go bane! <laughs> <laughs> they were killed in the darkness. I was God! Yeah, that's the one. Um, okay. I... Currently, there are three left, and none of them have been touched. I'll throw a dagger. I'll throw a dagger. An 11? Misses. It kind of goes over his uh, head and kind of like Nish only, uh, it only misses Nish because she's like coughing up blood at the moment. What if, ooh, what if it actually hit Nish and she doesn't care? <laughs> <laughs> no, she'd die. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, if she's uh, about to die, then I'm going to healing word bonus action her. And uh, th there is a there is a, uh, a higher, brighter melody that with the dirge that's going on um, that is directed towards Nish, and you take uh, eight healing damage. I feel I feel healing okay. Damage. Yeah, healing damage for Nish. Shit, I can't do reverse <laughs> math. Um, and I will continue baning that one bad bane boy. All right. Is that your turn? That's my turn. Bye-bye. All right. Nish, Miss Ice Howler, it is your turn. You've got one guy behind you who has not been touched yet. Yeah, I um, I, I see that this other guy has has died from above. And I turn around and I just smile, mouth, teeth, you know, like teeth, like blood in between every tooth at this guy. Uh, what, what's his reaction when I do this? Uh, <laughs> Is that an intimidation? Can I just do a yeah, free do you intimidation? Yeah, you want to try to intimidate him into running? I'm going to attack him, but I just want to see how he feels about it. Uh, yeah, roll an intimidation <laughs> check. Roll an intimidation check. Why not? That's a 20. <laughs> Dirty 20. <laughs> he, he, uh, I'm sure if you weren't swinging your sword, you would hear the sound of his piss hitting the rock. <laughs> oh, gross. Oh, but I'm swinging my sword yeah, to 21. Like, ah! So you don't hear the sound of his piss hitting the rock. Um, <laughs> okay. Nine. Uh, what about the second one? Here we go, baby. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, 21 total. Yeah. Two shot at him. Beautiful gone not only does his piss hit the rock but so does his head uh, i uh is it i think i run up up on this one uh this guy's up in the tree how high up in the tree he's like a good 10 uh like i'd say like 10 15 feet up um he's not within reach of you okay then hold on in that case in that case i kind of I kind of slump back behind the rock and I just I just pop a squat on the ground. Half cover, take it. And uh, with that, Prue, it is your turn. Oh boy. 
There's only one alive, right? There's two left alive. Uh, one is, and they're both up in these trees here. Okay, I'm gonna come up on this one and uh, hit him with my whip. Oh shit! When the bandit comes along, you must whip it. Oh, shit. Hits. Uh, roll damage. Both of us. Oh shit! Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Now, do me a favor. Roll a a d twenty, just a straight d twenty. <laughs> okay. Uh, no. Uh, it does not, unfortunately, uh, latch onto him. Mm. So uh, you just whoosh, whoosh, and he goes ow ow. <laughs> uh, and that takes 13 damage. Okay. Uh, and uh, is that your turn, Prudence? Yeah. Okay, yeah. to Rixie. <laughs> it's yeah. your turn. I'm going to fire an arrow. Currently, there is a tree in the way of, of your sight line. So if you move, uh, I'm no, I'm saying like no, this tree right here is. Hold on. Uh, if you look like this, this tree right here is like directly in the way of your sight line. So you got to move out of the way of that tree. Um. Got to have a clear sight line on them. Or. Or you could get up into a tree. Ooh, that, that would be fun. It would be. Or do I have a clear line of sight to this guy? Uh, one hundred percent. I'm gonna shoot that guy then. Fire! Boom! I'm just gonna shoot that guy. Just go ahead and shoot that guy. Unless, of course, you don't want to. Hmm. A twelve just hits. Yay! Nice. Do that damage. It's seven. Seven. Wait. Do you have? Um, extra damage because sneak you're attack. Hiding? No, not on this no, one. No, because I'm in. I'm covered. I'm not hidden this time. Yeah. Uh, uh, anything with your bonus? You still have movement. Um, and your bonus action. Oh, run, run, run him over, and then do like crushing damage from running on top of him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> in a tree, yeah, in a tree. Just run him over. She's a cat, and she can go a hundred thousand million feet. So. Yeah. What? <laughs> Dane's a Dane player now, a baby. Chaos agent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh God, Dane's been taking villain. meticulous notes on every time we pissed him off in Salt Marsh, and is like, "This one is for May nineteenth at six p.m. <laughs> <laughs> this one is when you requested advantage because of this bullshit reason." <laughs> How dare you read my journals? <laughs> um. Uh, uh, so I guess I will just hide for my bonus action. Okay. Nice. Classic. Um, go back to hide. Roll a stealth check for me. Solid. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Um, I'd say you feel generally well hidden. Okay. Mm. Okay. It is the bandit's turn. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, at this point, uh, this bandit right here in the tree over here uh is going to uh jump the hell down mm -hmm. and um he's gone he's uses his action to dash and he's gone so, uh and this guy up in the tree seeing that and seeing his boss and the rest of them dead say wait 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 please 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 don't kill me please don't kill me please I, d I did not want to do this. Please. Insight check. Go ahead, make yeah. an insight check. <laughs> we all insight check? Yeah. Natural one. Ooh, this guy is, I will tell you for free, even with a natural one, this guy's pissing himself. <laughs> I also rolled a 20. Okay, yeah. I also okay, yeah. This. You all you all know 100% this guy is terrified of you. He just watched you incinerate his boss, take out several of his of his buddies in one hit and 
that chick is looking pretty pissed off. Haru makes him a calming cup of tea. <laughs> just instant switch, Haru. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to, um, I'm just uh, six seconds previous, Prudence uh, would have rammed him through, but um, I'm going to walk up to him and I'm going to say, now hold on there, boy, son, person. We we felt uh, threatened and attacked, so we responded in kind. Now, you know this forest fairly well. I, uh, I, I, I do. I'm, I'm, I, we will still, spare your like, life if you help. Up us. in the tree, like hiding. Sure, we will spare your life if you help us. Uh, uh, oh. Also, if you know of any hidden money nearby. <laughs> all right, all right. I help. I help. Sure, sure. Excellent. And also the hidden money. <laughs> uh, and he uh, comes down out of the tree. I'd imagine your, uh, your and friend are, back are there. out of combat at this moment, so if there's anything uh, uh, you'd like to do in this in this moment real quick here. Uh, I, I want to stab him in the belly. <laughs> okay. No, I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm pick up my, my okay. dagger. Um, so yeah, he says, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We... We we didn't we didn't we weren't we weren't even gonna rob you. It wasn't even part of the plan. I'm sorry. It wasn't. We was. You shouldn't be threatening people you don't uh, plan on carrying through with. Well, yes, it was, I hope you learned we your weren't lesson. supposed to kill you. Just rob you. It wasn't supposed to be anything anything bad. We were just told to rob. I'm I, just saying, son, that if you put your weapon up in threat, then uh, you oh best be and he's just like he's you. not even he's not even like it's not even he's like staring Fair at enough. the pile of ashes that was Jackie. All right, how about that gold then? <laughs> just like to be fair, I do think he makes a point. Dogs. I'm not going to name names, but you know, some of us did charge, maybe without consulting the group, and uh, you know, maybe next time we we hear them out and have a little bit of a discourse before we start incinerating people Nish, and Nish um, from behind the rock. Um, kind of uses her sword to to hoist herself up, spits a mouthful of blood out, and is this guy's on the ground now? Uh, yeah, he's on the ground. Yeah, I I, I sort of uh, sort of hobble over a little bit, and I say, "What do you mean, told? Who told you this?" I I whoa, uh, uh, make an intimidation check with advantage. How am I on the progression of this tea? <laughs> uh, you, you are you have you have created a fire 22 you have, uh 20 uh we well um uh we i mean i mean the boss um well we was approached uh by i don't know some 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 little some little little thing uh it, it was dressed all in black uh and and it, it didn't speak or say nothing um at this point uh, I would like one of you, you all can decide who, I would like one of you to make a perception check. Who's the most perceptive? Let's check. Uh, oh me. yeah, by the way, Yams, are you still on the ground? Are you, uh, are you on the I, ground yet? I, I think uh, I've returned to perch on the tree that he was in. I have a oh, plus oh, four to perception. I'm at three. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I I'm in my favorite terrain, so I'll I'll take the perception. Check. Sky. <laughs> no. Um, Ish, uh, when you were getting up, I had moved to to heal you, so I'll just say I helped you up with the the. Oh, thank you. Yeah, the cure wounds and. Wait, but how good taking, is your perception? Oh, dope. Thank you. It's yeah. pretty. He's got a bonus because he's in the forest. So he's he's probably got oh. like. A bonus. I was joking. About Wait, no, guy. never mind. I'm not proficient in it, so I don't have that bonus. Oops. Oh no! <laughs> um, Prudence, go ahead. Then I think you no, got a plus, a plus four. four or... That's pretty good. Perception. It's a a single perception check. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. So as he's saying, you say, "Look, we we was approached by some little thing. It was dressed all in black and not speaking." Uh, as he as he's saying this, I see out of my teacup. You know, like. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Prudence, as you're at, like you're 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 not watching, you're not really paying uh, paying visual attention to him. But what you are doing is listening. You are listening very intently to him because knowing Nish speaking to him, you've been in this in this position with Nish quite a few times at this point. Um, 
and you were listening very intently to how he's speaking and you're not just picking up what he's speaking you're also picking up the world around you and that's why you hear a very soft subtle whistling noise i will give you one shot to make a dexterity saving throw you got it <laughs> Guys, I have Kings of Leon stuck in my head. Aww. If I do make this shot, Aww. though, if I do make this shot, no, I want to uh, use the tea kettle because I'm Tavern Brawler. <laughs> you're, you're not attacking anyone. You're jumping out of the but way. It could of be like a dodge of like a blade or something. That'd be cool, Just man. Use the tea pot. De uh, dex uh, dexterity saving throw. <laughs> The teapot? Uh, the teapot? So because it's only no, one person she's rolling so for all of us, thing. right? Here's the thing. <laughs> I'm going to pull a DM thing that people don't find very popular sometimes. Uh -oh. Natural 20s are technically only auto successes as far as attacks. Oh. If even with a natural 20, the DC of this check was 22. Oh. So even with a natural 20, as he is speaking, this little thing, it was dressed all in black and not speaking. It gave us a letter with 50 gold saying that we wasn't to kill you, but to feel free to rob you as long as we were sure to take the letter. Dead. A small dart whizzes past your ear, Prudence, and sinks into the bandit's throat. He chokes and he pulls out the dart and he looks at it, his eyes wide and shocked, looking up to meet yours, Nish, before he topples to the ground, shaking and foaming at the mouth. And it is at this point that, um, okay, so um, let me see. Uh, Grono, does a uh, 17 hit you? Hey, your still hurts. Okay. <laughs> um, and Trixie, does a 19 hit you? Uh, probably. Yes. Okay. Two more darts whiz out of the underbrush. One sinking into uh, Grono's chest and the other into Trixie's upper arm. Um, you both immediately feel both woozy and so incredibly, it's, it's the worst stiffness you've ever had in your life. Like your bones are just aching made of solid metal mm. and you topple to the ground rigid and unmove and unable to move. At also at this point, right here, this tree, uh, sorry, this tree right here topples to the ground with a lot with a loud, huge crash. All of this has happened within the span of about five seconds, maybe six. What would you guys like to do? Mm. I'm going to uh, hunker down behind these rocks. I assume this drops my concentration, correct? <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> concentration is a drop. Um, I'm going to go to Grono to take the anti-poison off of him and administer it to... Um, okay, so you'd have to... This is... I'm, I'm currently counting this. So, what, so you're trying to administer it to who? Grono and Trixie. Like I okay. assume that those potions were bought by Grono, if I remember correctly. I'll I'll also say this: if 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 Prue tries to leave my side at this point, I I try and grab her, and I'm trying to get behind the tree and okay, go use, ahead and move the, use the dodge action. Go ahead and move your characters into place if you guys would like to move them. I'm sitting on my butt behind the rocks. Okay, taking cover. Um, currently, Trixie and Grono are both rigid uh, on the ground. Yeah, I assume we can't move anywhere. No, you are both. Yeah, I'm. I'm moving over here, and I'm trying to 
get Peter to come with me. I don't, I don't know how we want to handle Prudence. that. Prudence check on the uh, on the corset. Prudence, do you uh, are you trying to fight this? Well, like, well, like I imagine yes they're no. going are in like different directions. This? Yes or no? Are you trying to fight? This? Yes, no. different directions. Yes. Okay, then uh, make it make opposing strength check, please, to see who is going to break. Is if Prudence is going to break out strong. and break out and go to uh, Grono, or if the need... saving. Uh, no, not safe. Just, just a check. Did either of us take damage from this, or it's just a, nope. an effect? So, uh, well, okay. Grono and Trixie, you guys would know this. None of you. Yeah, okay. You are dragged along by now. Grono and Trixie, yeah. uh, you are both able to see and hear, but your entire body is racked with pain. Um, for for you know the purposes of this, you were losing two hit points per round. Whoa. Um, I am going to crawl, like, crawl and try and drag his body this way. Okay. Uh, make a strength check, please. To at, be behind. Make like, a strength check at thing. disadvantage because he is huge and you're on your stomach. You are able to drag I'm him. I'm a big boy. Yeah. Dra yeah. Uh, you. Uh, 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 and you heave Grono behind um, the uh, behind the rocks there. Um, at, at your uh, at your uh, what's the word? Um, discretion. Discretion. Yeah, yes. something like that. Uh, I I will uh, at the next possible convenient time. I will uh, try and minister that poison. You let me know when I can do that, Mac. All right. Uh, yeah. Um, I would say I'm going to go around one more time. Yeah. Anything, anybody else, anything I would like to do? Uh, Prudence, you are behind with Nish. Uh, Yams, what have you been doing this whole time? Uh, Yams is trying to get up as high as possible into the air. Into the air? High as possible. Okay. You are up in the air. It is currently, you can see, uh, it, are you trying to like, what are you, what are you trying to do? Just go straight up. Probably straight up you're not trying to like you're not trying to attack or look around just, or just to the end of of evading or yeah i, I want to get out of there man all I right i get hit by these okay so uh all right so currently we have john in cover we have uh nish and prudence in cover we have uh yams shot up in the air and trixie paralyzed and abandoned on the floor. oh yeah where's Trix? <clears throat> just on the ground baby oh, yeah. oh my god yeah so uh it, okay um i would say john you do have uh, a moment now to uh administer an anti uh and uh anti-poison all right you big galoot or, uh, and, uh, or oh, don't forget you have an anti-poison and you also have an anti-venom as well yeah no this is anti-poison uh... okay uh you administer the potion it has no effect oh all right yeah. uh anything anyone else would like to do Can I make a medicine or a survival check to see if I recognize the symptoms? Uh, Does Grono know the symptoms? Make a, make a medicine check. Oh, no. Grono is incapacitated. Oh, so they're like out. Oh, oh geez. You can see in here, but we're in. <laughs> you are pages. starting to panic a little bit. You don't know what's going on. I think I, I guess I want to. His eyes are still open and his like, you can still see him like. <gasps> like that raggedly sucks. drawing breath, but his, his just, he's rigid. He's like a corpse. Right. Cool. He can't, can he blink? Yes, he's he's still blinking, but like his <sighs> eyes are like, like it's it's it's. Okay, wrong. we'll figure do, it out with. Do I have yes control no of my eyelids? Is the question. <laughs> <laughs> Barely, you're struggling. Um, I'll say at this point, about thirty seconds to about maybe sorry, about a minute to um, to two minutes has passed, and it's just been silence. So I'm dead. Oh. I <laughs> no, uh, no, 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 hey, after so sorry, I say, sorry, 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 not I apologize. These rounds aren't every six seconds. <laughs> I apologize. You are you are so right. I forgot. I forgot that I said that. I'd say after about I'd say after about 30 seconds, you both kind of it the the tension releases and you're both able to move again, but you've both taken I'd say 15 points of damage. And oh. uh, you um, and you're both just like everything hurts. 
everything hurts, but it's it's the worst is over and you can move again. Was it anti venom Dane used or uh, anti poison? Dane used an anti poison potion and did not work. It's true, I did. Dane did. Sorry, John Jolly John used an anti uh, poison potion and it didn't did. work. Uh, also, don't forget uh, this is still uh, this right here still on fire and uh, <laughs> a tree over it, farther to the right fell right. Uh, yeah, hold on. I'm going to be drawing that in a second. Um, yeah, this is now spread to this tree here, as well as these bushes here. This and burn, is bad now place. a healthy burn going. Um, this tree right uh, here, <clears throat> right here, has fallen and is now... That one fell right at the same moment as everything else, right? Yeah, yeah basically, it was it was it was like everything happened all at once. Um, I I want to I want to look over at at Prue and say, if they're still here, they are over there. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? So I want to I, the 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 intent of this move is that I want to rush over there, holding yep. up my sword in front of me as as sort of the the dodge action of of in case there are more projectiles with prue kind of tokyo drifting right behind me <laughs> and, uh, okay, okay. And it, i'm 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 down at, with it at this point if it's been like 30 seconds then i'm like 200 feet up in there and going over <laughs> that way with them you're going you're going toward uh toward where, yeah, where yeah. that tree fell down, down towards that fallen tree gotcha okay um so yeah go ahead and move your characters there you guys all rush in and converge on this point and find this fallen tree and nothing else there is nobody around there is, you look around and you see no one you hear no what's one. the what's the break look like uh go ahead and make an investigation check um i'm okay at that also the second i have any ability to move i'm hiding in a bush oh yeah okay. <laughs> 17 uh, crawls to safety. immediately gonna hide uh 17 yeah so you actually take a good look and you see that the that the base of this tree at a certain point has been eroded but only at about a half and it looked like it was like it you if you look and touch it, it it's like almost like like it's, it's like acidic it's like got some kind of substance on it and it looks like it's been eaten away and then if you look like in a like a like a like a big chunk of it or like thin. a good half of the tree has been eaten away uh -huh. a good like let's say like basically let's say like there's a portion of like that that's been completed. sure sure and then you look over uh, on the ground like kind of near it and you see a very kind of oddly shaped piece of wood and you pick it up and you realize this was a wedge and you kind of put the put the notes together. Whatever this was planned to go off at a certain point. And this something ate away at a tree until there was a good like kind of divot in it, stuffed the wedge in there to keep it from falling over, knowing that the second the wedge was removed, it would start <laughs> starting to come down and crack. So the wedge is facing the middle rock. Uh no, the wedge is like a very small piece of wood. It's like you know, it's a, it's it's a, it's like a, it's like a little divot type of thing. Sure, sure, sure. So, but yeah, it was, yeah, it was. This was. You get the feeling. This was definitely set up like this. I don't. You, you kind of looks a little slapdash, a little rushed, but it was definitely set up like this. Mm. It, uh, it was gonna. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use my uh, primeval awareness. Mm -hmm. And uh, for a minute, I can sense if there are uh, aberrations, celestials, dragons, elementals, phase fiends, or undead within six miles. Um, you take a... You take a, a, you take a kind of second to breathe and sense out and send out a wave. And uh, you do get an elemental ping... Uh, about, I'd say about f five miles off from your current location, um, in the opposite, like in the opposite direction. 
of where you were coming from, and you are also familiar that uh, there is a sort of earth elemental presence in this area. Okay, cool. So you, you would notice nothing out of the ordinary. That's a, that's a long-winded way to say that. Mm -hmm. Prudence, what were you going to say? Uh, I forgot. Never mind. Okay. So yeah, uh, that's what you guys have seen. Um, anything else that, uh, any other things that need to be done? Uh, check for tra uh, uh, Jolly John's going to suggest we look for tracks. Tracks? Yeah. Footprints. Um, I'll say with the investigation that, uh, Nish got, hmm. um, there are, uh, absolutely zero tracks around this area. Okay. Um, Can I go ahead? I investigate the belongings of the dead people. Oh yeah, there was a uh, letter. Go ahead and rifle through and make a make an investigation check. Although we did burn that boy or that person completely up, and if they had the letter on them, they <laughs> Oh no! Is oh, can I use my inspiration on this? Huh? Yes. Yes. Okay, take it off your sheet. Uh, mm -hmm. So with a 19, uh, you get, let me see, there were 10 of them. They were paid 50 gold. So you get five gold off of each of them. To, uh, comes up to 50 gold. Um, you get uh, some uh, crossbow bolts, some arrows, uh, a couple of, you know, old battered up scimitars. Um, you find... Uh, a diamond ring on one of them. Ooh. Uh, just a regular diamond wing. Ri wi diamond wing. Regular worth a hundred gold. It's worth, My wedge. worth about a hundred gold. My wedge is what brings us here today. <laughs> Who gives the 50 gold to everyone else? I, will, I prefer marriage. Mm -hmm. um, huh? Who gives the 50 gold uh, to everyone else and keeps the ring? Okay. I'm going to take five of it. Uh, if you are, uh, you come up, uh, the final guy, you, uh, you kind of come back and realize, oh shit, this was the guy we were just talking to. And you look and you see his face is at this point. Um, hang on, I gotta check something real quick. Uh-oh. Uh, and his face is perfect. <laughs> oh God, he's face even looks hotter than before. One. Okay, so yeah, his face is completely swollen at this point like there it Opposite. looks like he's been like it, it just um it, it's, it's unrecognizable blue it's very blue mm. like he's like he has not like he's been choked off from the from air and uh there's foam dripping from his mouth he is very very dead at this point how long has it been since <clears throat> we got attacked uh at this point i'd say maybe five minutes is her tea done <laughs> <laughs> he is spilled on the floor <laughs> Um, and the fire is still going. <laughs> Y'all are about to start a forest I, fire. I know you said uh, we didn't. I know you said we didn't find anything with the investigation check, but could I make the survival check to look for tracks around? Uh, sure. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, I just want to make it clear that uh, I did try to an anti-poison on Grono, and it didn't work. So, so whatever this was was some kind of venom. It was a, that's a, actually a 26, Addy. 26? Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, so you um, start flying around this general area and you find a couple of tracks, but they are all uh, animal tracks that seem kind of native to this area. And uh, you cannot find any sorts of, humanoid tracks uh in this entire area that would associate that you know that seem irregular to you at this point after seeing what has happened in this area that you that you don't you don't find what you're looking for here daddy i have a cantrip for prestidigitation can i use it put out the fire sure well, well, put out the fire he's just not interested <laughs> uh, prestidigitation can lower fire levels until you just put them out um well whatever the case whatever transpired here today we should get a move on i i feel as if we're um being manipulated in some way i will say like the last words you heard him say were uh um, huh 
huh? Short Gurgle. person. Oh yeah, yeah. The uh, what you heard him say was. Uh, look, we was approached by some little thing dressed all in black and not speaking. Uh, gave us a letter with 50 gold saying we wasn't to kill you, but feel free to rob you as long as we were sure to take the nut. Take the nut. All right. Who's got a nut? We weren't given anything. Somebody, right? somebody packing Brazil nuts or cashews. Did he, wait, it, it's, it just stopped with the letter. K or N? N. I'll say that. Well, N. Sound N at least that like, could be. K. As long as we took the N. N gags. N. The N. I'm not going to give you the exact sound over. Sure, here. sure, sure. But uh, yeah, that's that's the last uh, words you got out of him. Na, na, na. Does anybody have a net? Maybe it's a net. I've got nothing. Maybe it's nothing. All right. Well, can I investigate my own belongings to see if I have anything to start to <laughs> know? Uh, uh, make a uh, here. I'll let uh, two people make a uh, wisdom or a, no, an intelligence check. I'll make two people make an intelligence check. Not yeah, me. that's right. Dump stats, motherfucker. Not me. Yeah, dump stats. <laughs> if Just you're a wizard, it's that. Huh? Just straight intelligence. I have a 14. Two people can make an intelligence check. So oh, prudence. yeah, I, I'm intelligent. Okay, Prudence and Trixie from the from the bush. Yeah, Trixie, what are you uh, what are you doing and how are you feeling right now? Real bad. She's You're real bad. Unusually quiet, if you've noticed. Mm. She's not speaking <laughs> a lot. Right. Prude uh, checks on her. So uh you're thinking, uh, um, Trixie, you're way too shooken up. You can't, you can't really think straight right now. You're kind of, this was a lot. Like you've had some crazy nights. This was a lot. Um, Prudence, you are ignoring that, thinking, um, and just trying to figure out net, 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 nut, nut, note, 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 note. Oh, note. You did find uh, there was a note found at some point on, along your adventures. You can't. Uh, you're having trouble remembering where, but you remember a note. That that could be it. I didn't write that down. No. Who's got a Were note? Were you given a note? Was it uh, maybe the note that um, we got to go to Winter Winter's Manor? I think we got notes to do that. Can we pull out those our party invitations invitations? Were, uh Those invitations were actually uh, after uh, a, new, a new bit from last time. Those invitations were collected at the door. Oh, okay. Trixie read gibberish note last time. Gibberish note. That's right. Is a goblin that didn't make no sense. Jolly Hajan, how the hell would you know about that? <laughs> didn't, I, didn't I know about that? You were not. I there probably that. told him about that it. Was found. You could have told him about it. If you told him about it, then yeah, sure. Yeah. Trixie tells everyone everything. So <laughs> Okay, yeah. So <laughs> whether he was listening and paid attention, I don't know. But did okay. she probably mention it? Yes. So yeah, Grono, you kind of lean over to you kind of lean over to Prudence and mention that. Yeah. As as Prue's kind of muttering, I just kind of nod at at Trixie, who's kind of <laughs> <laughs> she, she's like doing some inner reflection is standing up <laughs> be like, be she like, looks like tripsy. a cat after a like falling in a bucket but <laughs> she's just like trixie know. trixie have gibberish no 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 one want that though trixie you still have that note what what note what are you talking about Trixie, <laughs> Trixie, we're all right here. You don't need to yell. I'm not. This is my normal speaking voice. I'm just upset. Oh. Fair enough. You've uh, gone through a pretty nasty experience. Yeah, nobody pulled me into a bush. I'm just going to say it right there. Oh, I, pull, I, I pull you into a bush, Trixie. Thank you. I bet you would have. Grown up would have pulled had me Had I been able to reach you, I'd have tried. Yeah. <laughs> I was on my way. 
Well, what what is this note? What are we talking about? You got a, a note in gibberish that you told me about. Definitely. Oh, yes, but it wasn't in gibberish. It was probably in something I read like mm. Goblin. Goblin. Um, you uh, remember <clears throat> this note was in Goblin, and when you translated it, it translated into gibberish. Just yeah. go and listen to me. I say gibberish <laughs> note. Well, I think what we are to assume, Grono, is that maybe it's in some type of code and we just don't have the cipher. Um, you guys, well, I, I cannot read it in gibberish. So what you guys found out that it, it, it probably was some kind of cipher, but it would take some time to... Mm -hmm. uh, to kind of... Out of game, remind me, did we have to give that note to Winters or I have it? You did not mention it to Winter. Oh, and... good for us kept and did yeah you did not mention it to him and uh he did not ask about it it was not part of your mission um and uh no yeah you have it still so i just have it Great. on my person yes so yeah well it's a it's a goblin note in gibberish that you need to take some time studying and looking over and like probably it's probably going to take quite a while like potentially time we don't have continuous well trixie had time to make some calming tea i mean uh prudence made some calming tea for trixie <laughs> nah, there you go thank you all is forgiven nah. i think one thing is clear if we see any goblins in this city we are going to it will be the last thing they see oh do you think goblins had something to do with this here, Nish? They talk about a little man. Mm. Maybe he's halfling. Probably goblin. That's a good point. Well, I think maybe it Nish, you're still all the way to... over there. Hmm? We are, I am the I'm there. drinking tea now. It's delicious. <laughs> Would not have killed his mount. Hmm. Mm. Well, in any case, I think we should start making our way. This fire is burning on our back, heat on our backs. No, uh, no uh, Prudence, Prudence put it out. It. Oh, I'm cold. <laughs> 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 All right, so uh, you guys kind of uh, shake everything off and uh, put yourselves back together and head on down the road. And I think we're going to take a quick bio break here. Yeah, I got a poop. Or yeah. So let's take a bio break and, and we'll come uh, back in about five minutes. I, I think I'm actually going to bow out for the night here. Uh, I'm not feeling too great. So. Oh, sorry. Aww. About yeah, don't worry. Sorry, but, um, feel better, Yams. Hope you feel better, bud. Okay, yeah, hug. night, everyone. Take it easy. Have a good one. Night. Jimmy. Huh? That scene where I just like imagine like Prue like going towards them and then being bamboozled and you just like grab her by the corset and she's like flung in the opposite direction. I'm just like nope. <laughs> <laughs> it just it was very comedic in my head. Oh, my <laughs> okay, I'll be right back also.
I sent the text to you ahead of time, but like, feel free to like look at it later. <laughs> Will do. Yeah, sorry about that. I just complete. I was like, I, I had no memory of it at all, and I was just like, oops. I forgot to mention it. It's fine. It's all good. Glad we got it figured. We're gonna get it figured out before next session. Don't worry. <laughs> Where'd everyone go? <laughs> to the bathroom. Oh. Okay. Um, I like so your Mary, hair, Huh? What? Who? Oh, no, they froze. I like your hair. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm digging it these days. You are very, you are looking very, uh, very like Disney Prince today. That's what I'm going for. Disney Prince all the time, baby. Very rugged Disney Prince. But uh, me... yeah, what were you saying? <clears throat> well, um, so uh, Dylan told me that um, uh, you guys were discussing the Prudence spell abilities. Oh, yeah. There we go. So we used the Arcane Archer as a template and just mm -hmm. coded it to be a sword instead of arrows. Check a roo um so prudence can only cast three different spells with the sword if it hits um one is enfeeblement one is banishment and one is shadow which uh, i can send you the details of those spells um but uh there there are you know limitations to it uh as uh outlined in the in the in the in the class it's the the fighter got, class and i got the text i got the text uh, right in front of me so i'm going to familiarize myself with that there you go so uh, essentially it's just instead of a ranged attack it's a melee attack check figured and cool. here are the three that were chosen i he can look at it later dan it's fine mm -hmm. <laughs> no i got it he's he's already got it to me Cool. Awesome. I will make sure that is part of my repertoire. And then uh, they do have a couple of other spells, but those are normal mm -hmm. spell slot style. I thought those were just cantrips. Are they just cantrips? I don't even remember. Uh, let me check. <laughs> I feel like those are kind of high for for being able to cast whenever. So those, uh, w which ones? I have cantrips and then three, I have three cantrips, three spells. Yeah. So those three that I sent you are the only spells, spells. Oh, okay. And then they've got three rego, rego cantrips they can cast. slots? I don't think so. So how many times a day can, can. It's outlined in the, um, magical it's once per, um, Two arcane shot options of your choice. Once per turn, when you fire an arrow, comply one of your arcane shots. You decide the option. Um, so once you have two uses of this ability, so they can do it two a day uh, gotcha. between short or long rests. Okay, so it's 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 a it's a twice usage recharge at rest. Yep. Okay, I can. I'm down with that. Cool. Sorry for taking it from you for that fight, Prudence. Oh, I don't care. It's not like you did one shot of that fucker. What? Not like you didn't one shot a motherfucker even without. Mm -hmm. No, no, it's totally fine. It's totally yeah. fine. Sorry about it. <clears throat> Spencer said he wasn't feeling well. Yeah. 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 Oh, no. All right. So we ready to progress? Yeah. All right. Well. <sighs> The rest of the day after your harrowing uh, interaction on the roadway, uh, you guys progress on, you know, kind of still looking over your shoulders, still like, you know, not knowing where that poison dart came from mm -hmm. or whatever that, it, it, whatever kind of dart that was, the venom dart, the poison dart, whatever it was. Oh, not could we recover one of those? Uh, you did not, not, not that you specified. If you'd like to say that you did, yeah. If you don't mind, Maddie, I'd, I'd like sure. to have. Sure. 
It is a I, long. It is. It is a uh, a long needle with a slight bit of feathering at the end, like a very light bit of. Feathering. I wrap it in a cloth. I fold it. I fold a cloth over it. Then I put it in my pack. Uh, are you taking one of the ones from Grano, from Trixie, or from the Bandit? Um, well, there's two different effects Presumably. that happen. So whatever whatever bloated the face, and then whatever happened to okay. Grono and Trixie. So I'll take one of each. Okay. <clears throat> well, nice. Before we head off, I would have also liked to have taken a beat to take a short rest. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You guys are short rested up. Oh hell we, yeah. So feel free to roll hit dice or you Love know, this. do whatever. Yeah, you don't regain health on Fuck. short rest unless you do hit dice, right? Yes, and then uh, your hit dice come back at the end of the day. Just, but there it is. Half uh, of the total. What was my health? So about? like, so basically, if you if you have so whatever your total amount of hit dice is, half of that is what comes back at the end of the day. I was a. Uh, can we go back to the other map? I don't know. I wasn't marking it on my sheet, just on the character. Thank you. Also, if you do use hit dice, go ahead and take an extra one d six as I play a jaunty tune. Ooh. Okay. What we do, dee do, dee dee do, we do, we do, little dee dee, be dee, be dee, be dee, we do, dee, but we do, dee dee dee. That's jaunty as fuck. I start singing about weed. It's a weed song. <laughs> and I weed start coughing because of it. <laughs> uh, and yeah, Emily, go ahead. Yep, there you go. That'll do. We'll take 14 back. That'll do it. I think as part of this, I'm asking Prudence to like help take these arrows out of my back and shit. <laughs> I'm gonna say she follows suit with the uh, uh, cloth just to be on the safe side. Pulling the like, yeah, the arrows are not poisoned in any way, but it's good to be safe. Oh, and I guess I um, I'll clip a a piece of fabric out of the boy. Out of uh. The 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 one who fell, uh, oh, the the okay. bloated face. Oh yeah, you're are you are you taking his story? You didn't kill him. You're right, I didn't. Did I cast bane on him? Uh, you did not. Okay, one of the ones I guess I'll do it on, uh, uh Caruso, because I did have bane on that person. There is nothing left of that. Oh right, I collected what was left of him. Yeah, no uh, <laughs> no cloth for me then. I'm good. All right, I'm sorry, buddy. It's all right. Uh, you can still collect cloth. You just won't collect their story. Yeah, no, I, I know. I don't need their cloth if I don't get their story. Okay. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. Uh, anything else on this map? No? We no. good? Waiting for confirmation here. Get out. Oh, yeah, Get yeah, out of Dodge. Yeah. Awesome. I love you guys. All right. Because so, uh, you forgot something. Ha. I'm just kidding. I'd like uh, to explore everything. <laughs> yeah. Go uh, through all the walls with. Me. Hey, you made it through my TPK attempt. So it's hey, <laughs> attempt. Uh, no. TPK. Total, Total party, party kill. kill. Ooh. Already dead. Uh, so <clears throat> you walk along the road, and uh, as you break the tree line, you see it off in the distance. A kind of small cluster of. Uh, buildings and would look like little fenced off areas a little too small to be fields but a little too large to be not fields <laughs> you're you're it's it's confusing um as you draw closer uh you begin to see that there that the small cluster of buildings is actually a small cluster of a shit ton of buildings all jammed into each other kind mm. of cramped into this very very condensed area uh, as you come to the entrance uh, of the town, if it could be called an entrance, as it is just a foot-beaten path through uh, through the grass off the off of the road, you begin to make your way into a grouping of ramshackle houses. It is late in the day, and you see most of the people here are working class, farmhands and the like, who are just now getting home from a day of hard labor. Um, if uh, I could get a perception check from all of you, please. I love my perception check. Yeah, they're good. Yeah. 15. Big eight. Wow. 
My but perception is minus three, y'all. Like <laughs> Hold on. I'm, I'm, try I'm going as fast as I can. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to roll. It's not working. Oh. We just move on. Well, uh, enough of you rolled high enough. Um, <clears throat> so uh, you, uh, as you're walking through these ramshackled houses, you notice uh, the door of one is kind of cracked open just a tad, and you see uh, a very a young female face, uh, maybe about 15, 16 years old, staring at you from behind it before uh, this um, Grono and, uh, and Nish, you notice this, uh, before she quickly pulls back and shuts the door. Uh, as you make your way through uh, to a sort of to a sort of main thoroughfare, uh, you look around and you see two main places of note, uh, as they are the only two buildings with a sign out front. Uh, one is a bit far down the road. It is a uh, it is a large windmill with a house attached to one side, and what looks like a long, extended, long house with uh, a front patio on the other, uh, an ex uh, a long, extended front patio along it. Uh, the modest sign is painted with black and silver lettering, the Millside Motel. The other building is a very large single story building uh, in the opposite direction, short, uh, shorter ways down the road. Um, so the other building is a very large single story building, though there seems to be the beginnings of a second floor being constructed uh, with an even larger warehouse attached to one side. The warehouse is pumping out steam and pipes creak and groan along the outside, spidering across like, uh, like cracks. Um, well, uh, da, 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 da. Uh, you're starting to get kind of a slight claustrophobic feeling from uh, the designs and layouts of the buildings. Everything is very cramped with as much stuff like crammed into as little space as possible. Uh, this build, this whole town is giving you this kind of vibe. Uh, this building looks, this building looks far more buffed and polished than the motel, which isn't really dirty. Just had a, it just has a kind of sort of dusty charm to it. Uh, on the top of a very ornate doorway at the, uh, uh, at this large building is a large, even more ornate sign uh, painted with black and gold lettering, and it's painted "Strong Brows, Strong Brews." <laughs> The rest of the buildings on the street look to either be homes or some sorts of small businesses that you suppose don't require signs because, well, everybody knows everybody else. Small town things, you know. You can also see a few small clusters of buildings and small fields some ways off. They look like farms, only incredibly small and condensed. So, so you have arrived. You are on the thoroughfare. You see two main buildings of note that you can tell what they are right away. What would you like to do? Now, before we even start doing anything, I just want to sort of recap. We're here to just figure out who it is, not murder them. And it could be anybody in the town, basically. Pretty much. Okay. Where did were the murders committed? Uh, you do not you do not know. You were given Okay, so we weren't given like you were given the details of like how, like how they were killed. They were killed by poison. That's the sus. That's the that's the suspected uh, thing. Uh, and you were given the name of the sheriff in town, who is. Jamie Wainthrop. Jamie Wainthrop. She is. The, so if uh, this was a Scooby Doo mystery, that guy would be the killer. <laughs> I say we go to the tavern. Yes, uh, and then the talk to the sheriff. It does. Does the uh, strong brew house seem like a tavern or just yes. a brewery? It is. It looks like it's a. It looks like it's a brewery with a tavern and with like uh, with. A yeah, bar. we go in there. Yeah, you're going in. Yeah. All right. Let me see. Da, 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 the the fucking. Uh, it's like you knew this was gonna happen, Maddie. You're all smiling. The the spirited away like bathhouse of beer. Yeah, we're going in there. <laughs> you see these other buildings. There are no signs on them. They're whatever. Then you see this one building that has a cool name and it is a tavern. <laughs> Where do you want to go, guys? They all have signs that say murder house. Okay. Oh <laughs> yeah. So. 
Uh, you walk uh, up to this very ornate uh, building. It's it's painted with a kind of burgundy red with black trim. It's got uh, gold painted accents on it. It's very, but it's you notice it's all wood. Um, it's all made fancy, of wood. It's all fancy. just painted to look very fancy. Um, Ooh. It's very. It's it is meticulously done. It is the the carving is all very very ornate and beautiful. The painting is all really delicate. It's really nice. And uh, so it's like it, polished wood. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, so you push through the double doors, real saloon style, and uh, you head in. And there are you know a couple of people. It looks like it looks like it's quietly bustling. It looks like an average night. Um, as you glance around, there uh, is a bar at the back that uh, kind of uh, meets at a corner. So there's it's like there's a it's a corner bar with two sides to it. And then there are sets of tables surrounding it at the rest of the room. So, like, uh, if um, this, you know, if this was the room, the entrance is here. The bar is down here. Is this little L here? Mm -hmm. So you head in, and uh, you see a couple of people milling about, some having drinks, sitting down, having some, uh, a couple are, you know, tucking into modest plates of food, um, and uh, you see uh, bustling around. Uh, two platters in hand, a female dwarf. Uh, this dwarf uh, has long, flowing obsidian black curls uh, that are that are just decadent and flowing down to her very ample bosom, uh, which <laughs> meet her equally long and luscious flowing black uh, uh obsidian black beard mm -hmm. only these two things would be impressive and be the first things you notice if not for the exceedingly impressive curly intricately styled obsidian black eyebrows they are huge they are the most extravagant eyebrows you have ever seen on a person, let alone uh, let alone a dwarf, let alone a dwarf woman. This is, she is a picture, and somehow very stunning in a way. She is, she is Striking. very stunning. Uh, she is kind of uh, bustling about, and she moves with a kind of smoothness that you're not used to seeing in dwarves. And uh, as she kind of turns, uh, kind of pops out from between two tables she sees your group enter and she says oh guests <laughs> and she kind of sets them to a side sets the platters aside and brings herself forward and uh who is leading the charge on this uh on your party here i'll you know, say jolly you know john i was gonna suggest trixie <laughs> Maybe Jolly John and Trixie are uh, too abreast as we okay. uh, walk as, through the doors. As, as she walks up, she immediately goes. She immediately goes, "Oh, guests, so lovely, so lovely to meet you. Welcome to Strong Brows, Strong Brews. I am not the Bella Strong Bro. Of course you are." Uh, <laughs> and she proffers her hand out to you, Nish. To who? To Nish. Oh, sorry. Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, sorry. Not you're not you're not up front. Uh, sorry, Trixie. I was looking at the wrong. There you go. You're right next to each other. She proffers her hand out to Trixie. I give it a dainty kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, somebody with class. And who? Welcome to my humble tavern. Uh, uh, we have only the finest brews here, brewed right next door at the Strong Brow Brewery. Please, uh, come, have a seat, order a drink. Uh, I will be with you very shortly. Um, and she kind of claps her hand, and you hear a kind of, uh, kind of stomp, stomp, stomp out as uh, a, a younger female dwarf, uh, head completely shaved, <laughs> just shaved bald, no hair anywhere, just eyebrows gone hair gone no beard no mustache like shaved and she kind of she's got a piercing on one eyebrow and um she's got a tattoo that kind of crawls up her neck sick and she kind of looks at she kind of looks up and she says but is it mom <laughs> and she says 
And she says, uh, oh, shit. What did I name this one? Shit. Oh, yeah. Um, Wengliel, please. <laughs> Do not be crass. Please take our new guests to their table and get their drinks. And be polite. Do not make a shame of my name. Please, my friend. Have a seat. And she bustles off immediately, not really even taking more notice of you at that point. What? Uh, Bef- wow, I tried to give her my name several times and she would not accept it. Uh, <laughs> wonderful. Uh, I, well, I, 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 I want to, sorry, I just want to lean in before, while she, as she's walked away and just say, remember, do not consume anything of this place. Because of the poison? Yes. <laughs> you think she's giving poison to her patrons? Someone's poisoning someone. We have no reason to trust her. We've just arrived. I think this is a fair point, Nish. Though I would say it would be a very strange thing for somebody to poison somebody in their own tavern in broad daylight in public. Maybe she is not the one doing the poisoning. Well, why don't we... I'm going to go sit down. And I saunter over and I go sit down. Uh, Just a question. How long long do you guys want to go? Oh yeah, yeah, it is ten o'clock. Yeah, it's ten. We kind of we we did get a. I little think this is a good place. Yeah, I think this is. We we sit down at the tavern. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> Seems All right. like this is opening up a new chapter. Yeah, you just you did a great little introduction for the tavern, man. That, that's that's a you. that's a good good place to leave us off, huh? All right. Cool. So yeah, we'll leave it with Wengliel uh, taking you guys to your Wengliel. Seat. Yes. With her, with her and if you pierced. and if you address her by that, oh, if, if any of you try to address her by that, she says, "It's Mendy." <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. I, I like that. Yeah. All righty, everyone. Well, I'm gonna post this uh, tonight for Spencer also. Um, Excellent. But um, yes. we are meeting next the 13th, and then. And then after that, the 27th. So um, I, I think those those days are probably going to be doable. I might be in San Diego for the 27th, but uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I might be I might be in California. <laughs> Whoa. Um, so <laughs> let's just let's just uh, if there are scheduling conflicts, uh, put them in the chat and we'll uh, be on top of it. We'll do. Cool. Love Let's you guys. Get, I hope you guys had fun. Friends. Thanks, Thanks, Matt. Yeah. I hope you guys got your fill of combat for uh <laughs> for for a little bit because it's gonna be a lot of talking for the next uh, like session. Hell yeah. I unless like Nish talk. kills people. Stuff. Yeah, unless Nish, Nish might yeah. just go hog wild on someone. Yeah, Only Trixie was ready first. to negotiate with Jack Jackie, by the way. Oh yeah. Uh, Tr- Trixie would have definitely tried to talk their way out of that robbery. But Nish was charging, so she was like, well. They were, they were going for that. They, they, were going they, for they something. struck first, is how Nish saw it, right? Yeah, no, yeah I, I they, really know. They shot they, an arrow at no, us. They, hit Prue. they literally uh, they hit shot Prue. arrows at us. They did not hurt her, but fine. But yeah, they literally they shot, shot an arrow, arrow at, at Prue. Prue. Oh, that man. is an aggressive it, it action at Prudence, that so will be right. countered. Yeah, it's going to set Nish <laughs> off. I'll give her that. But, but Trixie would have tried to negotiate. Oh, man. There will be plenty of more opportunities. Oh Thank yeah, I am. <laughs> I am like, I okay. I have to say, I am. I I've got a. I got a sense of DM satisfaction from how the end of that fight played out. Oh yeah, because because when a DM makes a plan and it all goes, <laughs> all plot point for point for point. There you go. It Love just it. it all fell into place. It's a, yeah, you guys like, feel it like, felt like yeah. you wanted the uh the leader though to live huh i huh the leader was trying to live but it was gonna <laughs> it was that anybody was gonna give you that information but they oh. had anybody was gonna give you that information at the end it was whoever was gonna be left but uh but it wouldn't have worked if we had done some sort of mass spell that murdered the last yeah. three at once yeah or if you had just yeah or if you had just slaughtered them all fireball um, fireball uh, fireball but Jackie did have the letter. Yeah. So I, had a feeling. I was I was happy that I was like, shit, how are they how am I gonna deal with that? And then Grono, you just Oof. thanks, buddy. 
<laughs> it's it's roll twenty, really. It was miss, miss, miss. Not twenty. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, y'all. Have a good right, sleep. Take it easy. We'll see have you a later. Good night. Thanks for playing, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.